Uh, welcome back to Airbrush Review SA in conjunction with Pelagons.com. We got the all new Crawl Arms Puncher Big Max X. My guys, X. I'm telling you, X. This thing is um. Whenever we set up this air gun, this thing actually it's like a cannon. To be honest, it's a 0.25, guys. You'll see all the accuracy and all that in a bit. But let's open up and see what you get in the box. So it comes in a hard carry case, as you can see. It's very nice constructed. It's got like a handle here on the side. Have a look at that. So if you want to drag it around, have a look at that. It's got wheels on the one side and then obviously constructed where you can open it up. And then it's foamed inside, protected, as you can see there. Look at that, guys. So I really like this case from Crawl. Uh, I don't know. This is the scope that we're going to put on today. If you can have a look at this, beautiful. It's the HD 5 to 30 by 56. It has got a nice turret. It clicks quite well. You've seen it on all my other videos. Um, we'll put it on and you can see the clarity and all that. Um, yeah, pretty nice. And then obviously the Picatinny mounts from Discovery. They look pretty legit. Look at that. Very, very, very lacquer. But yeah, let's take... Well... What I was wanting to say before I get sidetracked, because this is a beautiful air gun. Let's see. If I put this on, will it fit in the box with a scope? I guess so it would. But you're going to have to just force it a little bit over there and it would fit. So yeah, well done, Crawl. Because most other air gun manufacturers, they make these skinny little boxes where as you put on a bloody scope, the thing doesn't want to close. I mean, come on. Why do you do that, guys? Don't do that. Please, man. But anyway, let's take out the beautiful Big Max X. This one is in a synthetic stock, as you can see. Have a look at this bad boy. It's got big bottle in the front here. It's a 500cc, and then it's a 0.42cc. So if you combine these two, you've got 920 cc's of air, almost a litre of air that you are having to propel that pellet down the barrel so what does that in turn tell me this thing has got massive power we'll see over the chronograph how this thing throws those <laughs> pellets down range so yeah it will be able to shoot slags and so on you just need to find the one that works okay but yeah looking on this it doesn't have adjustable cheek piece but it's an ambidextrous cheek piece so you can sit from the left or the right you can adjust your butt pad which is rubber here yeah, up and down as you wish um, this, the safety sits four on the right hand side here by your thumb so you can have F for fire and S for safety not for semi and for full auto it's not that it's safe for S and F for fire it's got a biathlon side cocking lever can't change that biathlon lever to the left or the right so it's only on the right hand side then you've got your magazine well where you got two magazines in the box all right where you get it's a 0.25 caliber and it's a 10 round magazine that's quite a lacquer one if you have a look at the rail on the top here it's a picatinny rail crawl picatinny rails also very very decent they work quite well have a look at that match style trigger where you can change the blade to whatever uh, desired angle you wanted for your finger just to kind of like to <coughs> shape it to whatever your finger would like when you're shooting so you customize it to your suiting that's how it is so on holding it guys it does feel a little bit heavy so it is about 3.9 kgs in weight so it is quite heavy well, unscoped so if you put on a scope like that it's going to be quite heavy but yeah nothing that the sling could sort out or a bipod so if you want to walk around i'd still walk around with this you know me i don't care even if it's seven kgs i'll still walk around and shoot with the thing uh just <laughs> use a preference it comes with a picatinny rail on the underneath on the stock so there's no of those plastic ones that you put against this one and tighten it with an allen key this one is quite sturdy so it is quite it's 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 there guys that's quite nice if you have a look that's where your gauge would sit all right you fill it up to 250 bar you get about 70 shots per fill and it's got the crawl quick 
um, coupler nipple here that you put it on. So it's got this little rubber piece and yeah, it's quite tough to pull it off the first time. Uh, that's what she said. But anyway, have a look on about this air gun. It's got a little bit of stipplings here on the side. So if you would want to hold it like right here, I don't know who would do that, but it's there. Maybe just to hold it and walk around like that, I would use it. But in the front here, it's very nice and rounded. So when you hold it and you want to shoot offhand, it just fits apart, you know, guys. It's just boom. I love it. No, it doesn't have that much of a recoil. It's got the lacquer. So you, you'll check here for your finger grips, all right, to fit in there. So if you've got large hands, it would work quite well with this. So it's not an interchangeable grip, but it comes on the stock, which I think is pretty sweet. This will be like a truck gun, you know. It can do anything from target shooting to your pest controlling, you know. But it's very loud, let me be honest. So if we have a look further forward, this barrel, all right, is about... Five, uh, well, 580 millimeters long, which is 58 centimeters. I don't want to go into the conversions and so on. Then the total length of this air gun is going to be uh, 106.5 centimeters. So it's quite long. So if you're going to extend with a silencer, then it's also very long. So it won't be a walk and stalk in the bushes and amongst that. So it will be more like a, a bucky gun if you go shoot rabbits and so on at night or a jackal or something like that that's what we'll use it here in south africa you know shoot off the top shine the lights in the field at night or sit in a hide perfect so a lot of guys ask can you regulate this gun why would you regulate a gun that's got power so it's got two bottles if you have a look at that they they are connected via a little pipe going from the one side to the other side underneath the stock so you won't be able to put on a regulator unless you're going to be an air gun manufacturer and the bottle one you'll be able to do in the front here and then you're going to have to make another regulator in the front. It just is too costly. Listen, shoot it down from 250, 200 bars. It's going to be more or less there and it will do the job. So, nah, don't put on a regulator because it's got hence two bottles, not just one. So yeah, those guys that like to tinker, they'll probably come up with something there. Like I said, it's got a shrouded barrel with that um, 580, uh, well, 58 centimeter barrel. Um, it's not shrouded, like meaning to call it like a silencer. So you have to put on an additional silencer, which by the way, I will somewhere right now, I'll put it up here while we're talking, how it will sound without a silencer. You can see the decibel meter readings and then after that we'll show you once we installed the silencer then we'll show you the decibel meter reading after that you won't really hear the noise level but the decibel meter does pick up the decibel reading so you can more or less see it does do a little bit of a difference when you put on a silencer in a to make it quieter but it's not backyard friendly guys. So do not shoot this in your back garden if you've got neighbors that are complaining like you won't believe. So don't do that. So if they complain, don't shoot there. Go and shoot at the range or at the farm. This is not a backyard friendly gun. It shoots quite hard. And it's a bigger projectile, so don't do that. I would suggest this one will be a really good track driver with the, I think we've got today, We've got the King Heavy Diablo, so they're 33.95s, MK2s. So we'll see at what speeds they fly and at what accuracy we can get at 50 meters. So let me stop blabbing here because that's the best I can do. Before we say everything else, get a manual, which we never read. So if we can just, if you like reading pictures, it's best because they don't come in English. They come in Turkish. So if you've got a Turkish translator there at home, <laughs> then you can get it. But otherwise, it doesn't have a manual. It's just got picture manuals. <laughs> That's what I'll use it as. Uh, you've got your little bipod or little ball grip that you can put on the front there that just attaches there at the bottom. It comes standard. It's quite neat, like neat to use it. But um, yeah, you can always opt to get a different bipod if you need, but it comes with a gun. So that's quite nice. Very, very well thought crawl. And then, if you have a look in this box, you get two magazines of a 25 round shot magazine. See, there's two of them. So you've got 20 shots with both magazines here. Then you've got a 
quick coupler. See, that's one of the one that I spoke about earlier. Just put it in there, clip it over, and that's it. So it's got a male fitting there at the back, threads. All right, guys, please, when you do buy this, make sure that you get the doughty washer, that's the seal in between here, and that male to female nipple that screws over here, so you can have a quick coupler like your full station or your compressor that could clip on there. You know, you don't want to unscrew it and screw it into the pipes, you know, that's old school. We use those newer ones that work well. So remember that before, when you buy this. So on the other hand, I just want to show you guys when you remove the end cap here, it's got a little bit of a shoulder there. So if you're going to get like a dash silence or any other silencer, they don't have that recess. So have a look at this. So when I turn it on, it will not seat flush against the end there because of that recess. Have a look at that. See, it will leave like a 2-3 mil gap in between. I don't know if you can see that. So, the silencer that we've opted today to put on here, it's the Titanium Large. It does have a recessed silencer adapter there in the back that's already come standard out there for these type of air guns. So have a look at that. See? Goes all the way to the back and it sits flush, no gap whatsoever, and it works. So that's the silencer you should get if you were to buy this. Or otherwise, when you buy these, specify you want this one to get machined out so it will fit over there. And I can't stop talking about this air gun because this thing makes my heart beat and skip a beat because if you know how this thing shoots and you'll see the speeds, this thing is going to be sold out like hotcakes. But anyway, let's go do that 50 meter grouping and let's see what we can come up with. See you now, Chanas. Alright, so we are uh, sitting at the bench. We're going to shoot down there at 50 meters and uh, today we are shooting the MK2's uh, 33.95's exact King Heavy Diablo pellets. Um, yeah, they are going to shoot quite hot. Um, yeah, let's do a five shot grouping quick and just check what it can do. Uh, so I've put on the silencer there in the front and I've started the camera down there it started so let's go for it guys Nine hundred and seventy guys that is powerful Nine hundred ninety Nine hundred eighty-eight. Nine hundred sixty-three. Guys, 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 guys. This is awesome. Nine hundred ninety-one. Nine hundred eighty-four. This is awesome. Guys, I'm telling you now, if you do the head sizing and weighing out the pellets, that thing you can get hole through hole at 50 meters at that speed, with that power, I'll use this definitely for hunting. That it was exceptionally well. Look guys, this thing really throws those pellets down range. Um, if you shoot it at this speed, you'll feel it. You've got power! Let's go check the, <laughs> the groupings down range. I'm so excited. Let's go. So we're down here at the target, have a look, we found some of those uh, 33.95s, I mean they were relatively quite big, and look how it pulverizes <laughs> these pellets against this gong. Um, have a look at the size difference, you'll check there, I don't know if you can see as well, but look at that. Guys, this thing has got power, if you'll see, there is five shot grouping, alright, so I shot them, I had a little bit of little bit of flyers if you can look at those two but with these pellets if you definitely definitely get them weighed and sorted you'll get them all in that little hole but yeah like what we've done today is we've actually just shot them straight out of a standard gun air gun we haven't um, cleaned the barrel as yet as you can see it's exactly straight from the box filled it up shot five shots you'll see here I was just sitting in the scope so it's the gong right next to it, just to get it in, and then from there onwards, it was A for away. Game on. So then we did a five shot grouping, and 
that was not too bad guys I mean look at that power it's 980 feet per second so if I use a ballistic calculator let's work out how many joules weight was 33.95 and the velocity was 980 let's take it at average so your foot pounds you'll have 72 foot pounds guys that is amazing and then your joules is 98 goodness gracious me that is powerful but yeah i love it i mean look at it standing next to me it almost looks like it's my bed like my wife you know i could take for a dance you know on the <laughs> shooting field but yeah it really really looks legit look at that i mean with a silencer with a scope it looks like a real sniper rifle i mean even look at this out of the hand i'm going to shoot that drum or let's just say listen to that guys this thing packs a punch really love it so this thing gives my ticks for hunting um, not so much for barnyard like shooting the pigeons out because definitely you're going to give them they'll call it in afrikaans static is duck which means you'll shoot holes in the roof because this is very powerful so you would use this outside where you want to shoot longer distances in the wind you know with heavier projectiles you can shoot your from your dassies um, pigeons rabbits um, jackal and and so on i would even take the occasional buck that comes past i would definitely hit it in the nugget and then i'll get some <laughs> biltong for home you know hence the big stomach you see but anyway this air gun final thoughts i think really okay it's a little bit on the heavy side but that doesn't compete with all the positivity that comes out of this thing it's quite accurate at 50 meters it's got powerful um, <clears throat> power that pushes out those pellets uh, it's got two magazines which you've got 20 rounds 70 shots per fill which is magnif magnificent magnificent yeah sound like Jacob Zuma but anyway this scope also made it pretty accurate for me to see down range you can have a smaller magnification scope on these air guns and shoot okay groupings but when you come down here the, you're like wow did i really shoot like that if you get a bit more magnification like let's say from 14 and up for these air guns and you can bring those groupings down quite a bit as you could see some on the videos if you zoomed in quite a lot your heartbeat actually gets picked up by your crosshairs the whole time so you must look at that as well but you time it you know the breathing shooting and so on as soon as you breathe out then you take the shot and you must follow through there's a whole lot of things but whatever works for you works for you but for me this is awesome and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video man if you did please like share and subscribe and send it to all your friends family check it out in lunch time these videos and enjoy it like we do we'll see you on the next episode guys have a fun one see you